A beaver and a bear used to live in the same clearing in the woods. The bear had a little house on top of the trees, and everyone was very happy. Until very suddenly, a big windstorm came and toppled over all the trees. They whirled and twirled and twisted, picking up everything in its path. The powerful gusts had blown away most of the food and houses, and the bear's little home broke apart into pieces. The beaver tried to convince his friend to leave and find a new home, but the bear refused. So the beaver offered to help his bigger friend rebuild his house, gathering seeds and berries and twigs. The weather grew colder, and the bear said that he could offer no help. Instead, he ate and slept and slept and ate. There was one tree still standing, though it was leaning to the left side. It grew little apples near the very tip top. The beaver built support beams so the tree stood above the earth. He made a little ladder so the bear could climb with ease. He built tall walls to protect his friend from the wind and the cold. There was a little hole in the ceiling so the bear could stick his paw up and grab an apple whenever he pleased. Over a year of hard commitment, it became the most beautiful part of the forest. Once winter came again, the beaver knocked on the bear's door and begged for help. Hunters were coming through the woods, and the house was the only place left for the beaver to hide. The bear refused, justifying that should he help the beaver, the hunters would come for him as well. The beaver then offered to gnaw a little window in the wall of the house, so that his friend could see the hunters coming. The bear agreed. The beaver left, searching for a rock to smooth his teeth marks down. When he came back, a group of hunters had followed. The beaver once again begged for his friend's help, and once again the bear refused. The bear leaned out of the window and watched as his friend was grabbed, but the bear had leaned too far, and he fell down to earth. Upon the shock of seeing such a creature drop out of the sky, the hunters dropped the beaver. The beaver ran as fast as his legs would take him, up the ladder and into the house. The bear hurried to follow, but he moved much slower than the beaver. The ladder cracked under his new weight, and the bear was stuck on the ground. He begged his friend for help. But it was too late. The beaver was too far ahead of him. And the bear disappeared into the woods. The End